Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car. Leave a little note. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to my kitchen. If my teeth look a little funny, I've got a little fluoride stuff going on. So hey, we're gonna make something super fun today, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so what are we making that's super fun and festive? Well, we are going to make a bread pudding and we're gonna give it a fall twist i have i made apple butter so much over the last couple of years i don't need any apple butter and probably a year or so ago somebody gave me some and so i still have some of theirs um theirs is not near as dark as mine so i'm wondering if the spices aren't quite as heavy in it we're going to give it a taste when we open it up but first i got to get the bread sliced up so I've just, I've got this French loaf or Italian loaf or whatever it is, but we're just going to cut it up into cubes. And I have one of my handy dandy tin pans here that I have sprayed with butter spray. And we are just going to get this. Um, I'm just going to cut this up into cubes, the whole thing. It's gonna make a mess. Be prepared. But once I get them into about one eight, uh, one inch cubes, I'll stick them over here in my pan because we're we gotta let it soak up some good, creamy, wonderful deliciousness. And um, so I'm gonna just do this whole loaf, and then when we get it done, we'll come back and um, we'll put together the mixture that we soak it in and then we might come back tonight or maybe even tomorrow even and um, bake it up and see how it turns out. Um, I don't know how this is gonna be. It was just an idea. I saw a, like an inspiration of this and so I thought, hmm, what can I do? And then I thought, I've got tons of apple butter. That would give it like a fall vibe because there's so much cinnamon and clove and spices in apple butter. I thought that would give it a really good fall vibe. So um, I'm just going to keep slicing this up. I'll bring you back when we're ready to start on the mixture. Almost done. Just have a few more slices and I think it's going to be a perfect amount because once that egg and milk mixture goes in, it'll, you know, sink down a little bit and, and won't be quite as fluffy. So I think it's actually the perfect size. That was just, I bought that at the deli section of our grocery store. You know, they have a bakery and deli area and I think it was Walmart actually. And I just picked up a loaf of the, I think it was French bread. I actually have another one. Hold on. Let me look and see what it was. Italian bread. But either one, it doesn't matter. Just some kind of good bread and let it, let it be a day or so old. That's totally fine. In fact, that's actually even better. Okay, I'm going to clean this up. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we're ready to start on the liquid. I'm going to go in with four cups of milk. And I got out some heavy cream in case I didn't have enough. But I do. All right, and I think I have three eggs in here. And we're just going to put these three eggs right in here. 
we're gonna grab a whisk. Got it! And I want to be sure to break up. You probably should have started with the eggs. That way you're sure you're getting them broke up. Y'all, today I went to the dentist. So I have, like I didn't put makeup on because you know they spray stuff in your teeth and it gets all over your face. So there's no point in makeup. And um, so not only is there no point in makeup, but I always get like dentist hair, dentist chair hair. And um, so that made a mess too. Okay. So, I'm going to put in a little bit of vanilla. And yes, y'all know I love imitation vanilla. I prefer that. Just my preference. So, if you like the real deal, you, you do you, I do me. Now, you could definitely put some raisins in this. You could put apple slices. You could put pecans. You could put anything you wanted to in this. I'm just going to keep it kind of simple since this is another one of my trial ideas here. And we don't know if it's going to be work well. I can't find my jar opener. All right, so let's give this a taste to see if we need to add any cinnamon. Yes. Oh, and I was about to forget the sugar. Um, since apple butter has sugar in it, I'm going to cut down my, sh my sugar. My bread pudding calls for like two cups, and we're going to, I'm going to cut it down by half actually. And just use a nice generous cup. And then we're going to put in this whole jar of apple butter. And then I'm going to grab some spices because this is not nearly as spiced as mine. So I think we need some, definitely need some cinnamon. I don't know that this will set up, but we'll try and see. All right, let me grab the cinnamon and I'm just going to sprinkle in there. So hang tight. All right. Boy, it smells good. All right. So here goes our apple butter bread pudding. So I'm just going to pour this mixture over the bread and let it sit for a couple hours. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna just get out any that may be left. Push this bread down in there. And we're gonna let this sit and soak up. I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator. It's gonna be good. Okay, all right, we'll see you back. We're gonna let it get it out. We're going to bake it and then we're going to make a glaze to go on top. So hopefully this turns out. Okay. The timer has gone off. So let's check our bread pudding. As you can see, I have been baking for the last two or three days and we've got more to go. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, that is beautiful. 
it was in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. Okay, so we're gonna make a glaze for it, but I'm gonna wait a little bit before I make that. I'm gonna let this cool down, um, and we're gonna make a glaze, just a cream cheese powder, just a little bit of cream cheese, some powdered sugar, and some heavy cream, and um, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, everybody, we have here in my mixing bowl, I have probably, it's a little bit less than four ounces of cream cheese, probably more like three is what I had left in a pack and that's all we need. I'm not, in fact, it's probably too much cream cheese for me to be honest, but so to that, I'm going to add um, about two cups of powdered sugar, give or take a few. And I softened that cream cheese in the uh, microwave just a little bit to give it a little head start. And now I've got some heavy cream and I'm just gonna drizzle it in and stir with each little drizzle. If I get it too thin, I just add more powdered sugar. And if, I, if it's too thick, I just keep adding. Before I add any more heavy cream, I do want to add some vanilla that is a liquid so that'll thin it out as well and this is just going to be a glaze and i'm going to give bryant a taste before he has a church board meeting tonight so we're going to let him taste it before he heads off to the board meeting but i'm just um I have all this stuff out over here because we're going to do some cooking on Facebook Live in just a little bit. And I have been promising my son his favorite dessert, his favorite fall dessert, which is my just pumpkin, I call it pumpkin crunch cake, um, but it's like that dump and go thing. I'm sure everybody has a recipe for it. All right, I'm going to give this a... Oh, I think that's perfect. Perfect. Wowza. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to scoop up some of this bread pudding, put a little bit of this glaze on it. And we're going to call Bryant and see what he thinks about my creation of the bread pudding. I think he's going to like it. Okay, I have this beautiful clear mug here. And we are just going to scoop up some of this bread pudding into there. And we're going to call Bryant in here. Now, I'm going to put the, most of this glaze on that, but I wanted to give him the first little bit. So we're going to just let it drizzle a little bit in here. Okay, I'm going to put this on the rest of this, and uh, he's actually, Bryant is actually on a phone call right now, and as soon as he gets off, we're going to have him come and give this a taste for us, but I think it is absolutely beautiful, and I cannot, I can only imagine what it's going to taste like. So, all right, I'll bring you back in just a minute. Okay, everybody. He's in here to try my creation. Here we are. The only thing is I don't know if I adjusted the sugar level. So I don't know if I may have adjusted it too much or not enough. So Because I'm so sweet. Because you're so sweet. Oh, here we go. Bread pudding. Do you want to know what it's called? Bread pudding. Well, I mean, it, there's a name with the bread pudding. What, what's it called? Apple butter bread pudding. It's delicious. <laughs> Restaurant good. With a little bit of a cream cheese glaze. Oh, that is killer. <laughs> that is killer right there. Yay! Have you had any? Mm-mm. Oh, that dog, will, <laughs> that dog will hunt. That is mm. good. Oh. So if you have any extra apple butter laying around, you now know what to do with it. 
That is good. That is really good. And you could probably do that with any kind of like fruit preserves you have mm -hmm. or whatever. There's a reason I weigh 255 pounds. <laughs> That's really good. I'm like so happy about that. That would be a great finish to any supper mm -hmm. right there. Okay. I may send this to board meeting with him and he can uh, treat all his board members. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to let you guys go because we've done two cookies this week. Now we've done a bread pudding and we've got more cookies to go. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to hop on over at Facebook Live and do some cooking on Facebook Live for just a little bit. And then I'm going to go collapse in my recliner because he has a board meeting and that's the way it's going to go. So, okay. Well, guys, I will see you in just a little bit tomorrow, I guess. Well, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> this is Thursday's video. I will see you on Friday. All right. Well, thank you for joining the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. And y'all have got to try this. If you have any apple butter or if you have access to get you a pint of apple butter, you got to try this. It is absolutely delicious. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.